This morning, our window on America opens on the windswept grasslands of North Dakota. There, the buffalo roam once again. And as correspondent Frank Courier shows us, the people of the plains couldn't be happier. After near extinction a century ago, the American buffalo is charging back. In record numbers, this free spirit of the old frontier is now a bold new symbol of economic revival in North Dakota. Why isn't we in North Dakota in big numbers, huge numbers, and now they're coming back? They were made for here. North Dakota rancher Ken Thorlson is helping lead the comeback here on the same open range where most bison were wiped out by 1875. Their skulls stacked as trophies by white hunters invading Indian lands. Come here, Holly. Come on, Holly. Today, Thorlson raises 850 buffalo for an industry fast becoming more profitable than beef, spurred by booming demand for red meat that's low in fat, cholesterol, and calories. As society has progressed, we've gone back to more natural things, and this is a very natural meat. The commercial renaissance began here 18 months ago on the edge of New Rockford, North Dakota, with the nation's first and only meatpacking plant devoted exclusively to buffalo. It's a co-op owned by area ranchers and has doubled its output in a year. Manager Bill Heisler says it'll soon process up to 10,000 buffalo annually, still not enough to meet the world's demand. Every day we get more orders and more orders, and uh, we just need more animals to fill them. At the packing plant, buffalo looks pretty much like beef. The fillets, ribs, and roasts are cut just the same. The once tough, stringy texture has gone away. But while buffalo steaks have only a third the fat of choice-grade beef ribeyes, it is pricey, nearly double the cost of beef. We don't see ourselves as a competitor, competitor for beef at all. We're a very, very small niche market. We appeal to the health-conscious consumer, uh, to the high-end restaurants. And to popular but not so high-end restaurants like the Bison Country Cafe down the street, where buffalo is always on special and always in demand. Bison burger is very popular. It's one of our most popular items on the menu. It's a favorite with veteran Weight Watchers Anna Maria Weber and Ann Martell. It's locale. It's supposed to be very healthy meat. This is the first tender buffalo I've eaten. Some of it has been tough, but I think they're learning how to cook it. But it has to be cooked slowly. North Dakota's grand experiment in rural revival is paying off. Within a two-hour drive of here, nearly 100 new commercial buffalo ranches have sprung up, adding to a statewide industry already worth $50 million a year. The buffalo is key to an aggressive economic comeback campaign aimed at bringing new money and jobs to a state with an empty image. Our cities will welcome you in the open-arms tradition of the Midwest. People are focusing back on the Midwest. They're seeing North Dakota. And that buffalo is kind of a symbol of what we used to be all about. Uh, it's the wide open spaces, it's the prairie, it's the good life. It helped lure young Scott Thralson and Brent Lee back to their home on the range. Discouraged by the financially troubled beef cattle market, both had left the state to find jobs. If it probably wasn't for buffalo, I probably wouldn't even be in North Dakota right now. It seems like there's a chance for a guy to actually get in and turn around and make some money. And for more than a few ranchers, it's not just about money. Well, a lot of us early ones got into it because of the love of that wild animal, the romance of the past history, of the nostalgia of the Wild West, or, or what have you. It just takes you back in time, you know. Ironically, in this strategy to restore prosperity to the Great Plains, a state that never tried till now to save its native buffalo, is counting on the buffalo a century later to help save the state. Frank Courier, CBS News, New Rockford, North Dakota. Boy, the romance of the Old West. Now, you've had buffalo? I've had beefalo. Beefalo? The, yeah, it's a crossbreeding between a buffalo and a beef. It's really very good. Tastes like chicken? No. <laughs> 23 past the hour. Dan Rather coming.